In this tutorial, I will show you how you can import ASCII files by drag and drop. I'll also show you how to customize your ASCII import dialog settings and save these as a theme. Dragging and dropping data files onto the Origin workspace is one of the simplest ways of importing data. I select this ASCII file and drag it into this empty worksheet. I can import multiple files by drag and drop as well. I'll drop these two files onto the gray area outside the workbook to ensure that each file is imported into a new window. Let me delete these two new workbooks. I'll do that from the Project Explorer window. Shift select, right click, and delete from the context menu. I'll go ahead and select these two data files again and this time drop them into the active worksheet and you'll notice what happens. The first file replaces the data already in the worksheet and then a new book was created for the second file. What controls this behavior is the default ASCII import options used with drag and drop importing. So let me show you how to specify the import options used. Let me create a new folder. I'll then click on the Import Multiple ASCII button on the standard toolbar and select the same three files. I click the file name header to sort by file name. Notice that the Show Options dialog checkbox is checked, so when I click OK, a dialog will open allowing me to customize the import options. In this dialog, I can specify how each data file will be imported. I want one book with three worksheets, so I change the import mode to Start New Sheets. To control how the workbook and worksheets will be renamed from the file names, I want to make sure that this node is expanded. I don't wish to have the workbook renamed, so I will clear this checkbox. However, each worksheet will get named with the file name to clearly identify each data file, so we'll leave that checkbox checked. This dialog allows me to save these settings as a theme that I can later recall to use when importing similar data files. To save a theme, I'll click on the right arrow next to the theme box, choose Save As, and enter a name for my theme. I'm now ready to click OK to import the three selected data files. The first file gets imported into the current sheet and two new sheets were added for each of the other two data files. The file names are used as the sheet names. Now that I have saved the import options, let me use them to import these files again. I'll again start with a new folder. I have quick access to my Recent Imports from the File Recent Imports menu. I'll choose the three files again, click Add Files, click the file name to sort. Notice that the Show Options dialog checkbox is unchecked but displays the name of the theme that will be used to import the data. I don't need to reopen the Options dialog when I click OK. The three data files will be imported using the settings in my theme file. So you'll notice the book was not renamed. Prior to setting this option, remember when we did the drag and drop back in folder 1, that the books were renamed. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.